here we are. Hey, buddy. Suzuki Hayabusa project. Gonna be doing some plastic. ABS fairings project. I can't wait. Oh, I know. This is really cool. Right there, Josh. Been waiting for this one for a little bit. I'm excited. We're all excited. I'm excited to do this. I might be getting ABS plastics for my own bike if this actually ends up being, you know, a decent set, which it looked really good. So the only question now is how do they fit? And from what I've heard, they should fit pretty well. I mean, that's what, that's what they claim. That's their biggest claim on the site is how well these plastics fit. Am I lying, Josh? Nope, that's why we went with them. I'm really excited to see how this is gonna turn out myself. I know that uh, when it's all done, the customer who has been in several times, <laughs> yep. and he's definitely excited. He, excited. he loves his bike. The only problem is we're excited too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I really wanna see what this is gonna turn out to be. I think it's gonna really look good, especially out in the sunlight, because there is a little bit of pearl in that white. Yes. Yeah. So I think it's really going to pop when it's out in the sunlight for sure. So we now have the bike on the lift, box full of fairings and uh, pieces and parts. And I'll be right back. I want to get the other fairing because I made a discovery the other day. Uh-oh. So I'll be right back. So initially what we're going to do is we're going to unbox all this individually and uh, make sure that everything is lined up properly so that it can be uh, as smooth a process as possible. There are quite a few things uh, added in this box, so there's extra stuff. So we just got to make sure it's all ready to go. Um, from there, then it's just going to be starting the, uh, the build process from top to bottom, basically front to back, however you want to do it. But all this is going to have to be removed, every bit of it. Uh, as far as the tank goes, it has a cover on it, so that shouldn't really be a big issue. It's probably just uh, maybe loosen the tank up so that you're able to put the tabs underneath it, I would imagine. Yeah, I think they're pretty, pretty straightforward with that. But I did discover, like I said, these plastics are not stock Suzuki plastics. These are aftermarket plastics, and they're pretty brittle. I mean, some of it had already broken and, and chipped away and cracked because it's just a cheaper plastic. So we're actually replacing <laughs> cheap Chinese plastics with, uh, with hopefully better the ABS stuff here. Hopefully this stuff's better than this. And just based on this alone, I mean, if you feel that, Josh, you're me on the camera. Just if you feel that, I mean, feel how rigid that is compared to regular abs just, uh, that, just that fairing that like i said it's it's just well you know the, what i mean it's, the, the couple things that you have to think about is uh heat sunlight all those types of factors go into why these plastics eventually become more brittle so you know there's a big reason as to why we always tell people try to keep your bike parked inside keep it clean you know, keep a protection on it because any of that stuff's gonna help any uh, the UV rays from deteriorating the plastic and, you know, the rigidity and then also the flexibility in it. You need a little bit of that. You can definitely tell that this is not a quality plastic. It's, no, it's you know, it's, I'm sure when, he, when it was first on this bike, which actually he bought this bike from us and we got it like this. Mm -hmm. And, you it know, looked it looked great. We didn't notice any of that except a couple little things you know, on the side. So we kind of knew, and initially he had talked about doing a fairing project at some point, which here we are now. But this just goes to show over time what happens to uh, cheaper plastics. So this is really exciting that we're gonna be able to do this project and hopefully it comes out the way that we're, we're planning it to come out. Let's go. There you go. I'll take that. So first process, gonna just tear everything down, then lay all this stuff out, is that what you wanna do? I think I'm just gonna work from back to front 
and see what where time takes us for today. You know, as far as like, I want to take my time enough that I don't miss anything and I don't have to do it two and three times. So what it said in the instructions is start from the back of the bike and work your way front. So that's what I'm going to do with kind of a minor exception. I think I'm going to take the nose off and the side fairings as one basically. And then I'll work from the front down to the sides in the front. But I'm just going to start here. This is going to be the first panel aside from this one, obviously that I take off and actually replace. So that's what I'm gonna do now. And we'll probably just time lapse that guys, you know, just throw that up so that you can see what we're doing. We're gonna give it a whoopsie, whoopsie. Ready to go. I'm gonna take it all out of the box. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a lot of space. Yeah, we'll probably have to move that CBR a little bit and see what we can do. All right, well, we'll see you on the other side.
Okay, so today we have a very special reveal. The ABS fairings plastic kit that we had purchased for the Hayabusa is about 99.9% .9 done. We're just waiting on a couple little things and I'll let Matt explain that. But what we have to say about this, and again, we are not sponsored by these guys at all. So this was something that uh, we had searched out for a customer, found out to be that it seems like these are gonna be the best suited fairings for this bike quality wise and what he wanted as far as the look. So we got this, it took a little bit to get. Uh, the price is less than $1,000 for the entire kit. We're talking the whole thing. Uh, all the pieces, the little tiny pieces that you would hopefully get with it, this did come with it. There are a couple tiny little things with it. However, it's pretty doggone awesome. So without further ado, this is the completed package of the ABS fairing kit on the Hayabusa. What year is this Busa, Matt? This one's a 2003, so this is up to 2006, I believe, is what body style this is, from 99 to 06. Fit and finish overall, because you're the one that put it together. If you had to grade this kit on a scale of one to 10, one being the worst and 10 being the best, what would your grade be? I mean, obviously 10 is going to be your OEMs. So uh, it's, not, it's not OEMs, but I, I would give it a solid eight myself. I mean, as far as the fact that it works with OEM action parts, a lot of these aftermarket kits won't mix with OEMs and these inner panels here, which actually seem to fit a little bit better. The OEMs seem to fit a little bit better than the aftermarkets. And the fact that this stuff bolted up, you know, made all the difference in the world there. And, and I, I appreciate that they kept it so you could put OEM plastics back on because this stuff did fit just a little bit better than the aftermarket stuff. If you don't have this stuff, it's not a big deal. This is just more of my pet peeve than anything. But uh, other than that, you get, you get a bolt kit with it. And I mean, comes with the little spacers so that the, the plastics aren't loose. You know, they're held in place. They're not gonna rattle around. And these bolts are pretty much the perfect length. You know, every bolt here came in the kit aside from like this but this came on the bike with it before and the customer wants this again so it came with every single bolt you need to bolt these fairings back on the bike which that in itself is really impressive and the fact that it came with them and they work so well but i mean if you look here the gap here it's a nice even gap here I mean, OEM might fit a little bit better than that, but only a little bit. Honestly, this stuff fit really good. Turn signals, I mean, the cutout for the turn signals is nice. These are even aftermarket signals, and you can see that they got that good. Headlight, spot on. I mean, that's, that's beautiful. That, that fits just like stock. Mirrors bolted up, everything was able to fit back on there. I mean, these fairings are really nice. I really, really like these fairings. They, they are nice. So here, this is just a tank cover, believe it or not. This, we didn't repaint the tank. This is just a skin that sits on top of the existing tank. So underneath here, it's the factory tank, and uh, it just changes the look of it. It's, it's quick, easy to do. It just plops on top there and you know changes the whole look of that gas tank. But I mean, it, it all fit relatively well. There were a couple bumps and bruises, some things I had to gently massage to get to fit right. But overall, it, it went together really quickly <laughs> and easily. So what, do you, what as, do you think, Josh? I mean, out of all the kits that I've seen through the years and the stories uh, that I've heard from other customers, um, I mean, this is the first time that I'm breathing a sigh of relief because I have not had a kit come in, first of all, complete. Secondly, painted well without a bunch of little things blemish-wise on there. And um, 
you know, in the process, having it fit quite so well. So the one that we had done on a Kawasaki years ago, um, it took quite a long time to do it. You had to drill the holes. You had to really go through a process to measure it up. Now, when it was finished, it was great, but there was a lot of time that we had put in that bike. So people don't want to do that because if we're going to do something like that as a shop, that costs a lot of money. Absolutely. If, if they're going to do it, well, unless they're really skilled, more than likely, that would probably wind up sitting in the garage somewhere because you just get kind of tired of it and it's frustrating. To, so having a kit like this, and again, we are not sponsored by these guys. This kit was totally purchased out of us looking if, for something and searching. If it was junk, guys, we would let you know. Like I, I, we're not hiding anything or disguising anything. If it was, if it was garbage and didn't fit right, that would be the first thing that we would bring up because you know we don't want to deal with junk, and we're potentially going to sell this to you guys out there who are looking. So. If it's garbage, we're not going to tell you to come out and buy this stuff because we're not going to really want to put it on. But yeah, this was a breeze. For years, we've had people talk about aftermarket kits, aftermarket this, that, and the other thing as far as fairings. And it's always been the same story. Well, it's chintzy. It falls apart. They're not consistent in the thickness of the, the plastic. The plastic itself isn't sort of that... Uh, that ABS feel that you normally get, it actually felt like a chintzy plastic. Mm -hmm. But, you know, these came painted, and you can look at the lines. This actually is clear coated over, which that was really nice. Yeah, that's not a sticker. That's, I mean, it's a sticker, it's underneath, a sticker underneath, but it's, sure. it is clear coated over. But it, if I would say to the, uh, to the regular person that doesn't necessarily know an OEM fairing from a, an aftermarket fairing, They'd probably never know the difference. Yeah, it's, it, it is. It is really good quality for for the price. It is really, really good quality. Yeah, even uh, that's absolutely. cleared over. And then after you after you hit this with the buffing wheel, I mean, it's just gonna make it pop even more. This stuff isn't this stuff isn't what I would call polished yet. So no, it's not you, polished. Once There's a little you bit polish of it, to man, it. You're, this thing's really gonna be. It's really going to be beautiful outside, that's for sure. No question. I mean, it does have a little bit of pearl in the paint. The fact that you get that little bit of pearl metallic right. for the price, that's that's impressive. Usually it'd just be a white and a blue, and that's what you get. Right. But no, it's They also pretty. sent a windscreen with this, and I don't know if we can really see too well in there. It's hard to tell, but it's, you it's can kind red. of tell it's a purple, reddish look with the lights up above there. But even that fits up nice. So the gapping, uh, the form, the fit, the finish for an aftermarket company, you know, for somebody to be taking a chance on, this isn't really taking a chance. I mean, in the beginning it for us it was, but now we know that if we get something else from these guys, more than likely it's gonna fit like, like this bike. Oh, and I'm definitely on board for getting this for my bike. Like my, my Yamaha, it, it's gonna get a set of these because for less than a thousand bucks, I don't even have to worry about it. You just order it and install it. I mean, as, as easy as this was to do, no question. I'm, I'm going to get that stuff in mind. So if you had to say in terms of total hours, Matt, what do you think you put into this? I'd say from removing to installing, I have probably a good five, maybe six hours total time into it. And uh, that's not bad at all for this because I didn't have to modify anything. The old stuff came off, the new stuff came on. I had to fit up, you know, all the all the minor little plastic, stuff like that. I had to fit that stuff up and make sure it worked. And we had to install the heat shields and transfer over the foam, stuff like that. So there were some fiddly little things that I had to do to get them ready. But after that was done, yeah, it, it went on without a problem. So yeah, I have maybe five, six hours into this total. But it, it, was, it was a breeze, for sure. I'm just really impressed, to say the least. I mean, I could keep going on about it because I have ne I have never seen a fairing kit go on as quick and as precise as as this. And like I said, initially as it came in, it was well packed, mm -hmm. so it was it was packed safely. It was I mean, nice. <laughs> that itself was probably a good half hour, forty five minutes of the time getting the stuff unpacked because it was packaged really well. 
and like <laughs> and like this front fairing had a little piece under here how they actually connected that together so that it wasn't going to bend or or you know cause a split in the middle here so mm -hmm. they fought it out that was really great to see that level of care from a company that's selling a product like that so i i mean for me for somebody that has to take the time to look for this stuff i'm i'm probably hovering around a nine because realistically you don't really find that mm -hmm. out in the world and it's always rolling the dice and hoping that when you do roll those dice, it comes up, you know, that, that you're hitting, you know, you're hitting the jackpot on it. And, and, and you know, I think our customer is going to be really happy. I know he's excited to see it because it's been a little bit of time. And one other issue that, that I would say, uh, you know, good things come to those who wait. And this was something that took a little bit of time to make. So there, it wasn't something that was just here in a couple days. I mean, what was it? couple months maybe I think you ordered it about two months ago and it, yeah, it showed up a couple weeks ago and you know we, we got it on here and I think it's worth the wait I think it's gonna be oh stoked. I, I absolutely yeah, think I so yeah, I'm stoked I mean it's turned out way better than I thought it would honestly so, I mean, of the I've seen quite a bit of the aftermarket fairings and of them you know if you really want to put it on a scale this is at least 10 out of 10 for the aftermarket fairings that I've seen. Yeah, I mean, all these pieces are so well nice. And it's just because I did not have to modify anything. And that's, that's huge. It really is. Well, I think it's safe to say from here on out, when a customer's coming in for uh, fairings, we're definitely going to be using these. Even if they come in and say they want to get their bike painted. Yeah, how this about? Is, this is a heck of an option over, what, maybe $1,500, $2,000 paint job. You can get these for less than a grand, and it completely changes the entire look of the bike. Right. Like, I mean, this would definitely be an option above painting. And a lot of times when you want to paint a bike, if it's different than the tank, well, then you're taking the tank off, too. Oh, yeah. So, you know, it's easy maybe to take the fenders and, you know, the fairings and whatnot off, but then you have to go through the whole process with the tank. That's a whole other thing. So oh, yeah. And sealing it properly so that the paint doesn't bubble sure. at the gas cap. Sure. Yeah, having to deal with that. Yeah, it's, it's not as easy as just removing the stuff and painting it. So, I mean, this is definitely a viable option for the guy or girl that wants to paint their bike. Because I think this company even said they would do custom they can yeah so if you have a paint scheme that you want they do custom work so you just have to tell them what you want and you know they'll do it for you so definitely definitely a good product josh i i i think this one you hit it out of the park yeah i'm really, really excited really to show it to him because i know <laughs> i know how excited he's been and we've had a couple phone calls to find out <laughs> if, if it's finished yet, but we're gonna be able to do that really soon here once a couple little things are finalized. But I mean, overall, this is pretty much it. It's yeah. this is it's done. There's nothing extra I have to install. It's just right. a couple little finishing touches. Right. So, tell us what you think of it in the comments below, and uh, maybe if you had a specific paint scheme or whatever what you like it's always neat because this stuff is so subjective to taste and to what you like or maybe dislike it's awesome because now at least for us we are confident that when it becomes time for somebody else we have a go-to company and i mean these guys they came through man i'm loving this this looks so hot i can't wait it's fire man it is definitely it's good <laughs> It really is. You can't say enough good things about it. Well, hit the like and subscribe button. We always appreciate that. Check us out on cyclehunters.com. Check out the inventory on the list. But until the next bike. If you see a bike on the website that you like and you don't like the color of it, heck, we can change the color of it now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Pretty easy now. Pretty easy now. Uh, thanks for checking it out, guys. We'll see you in the next video.
What do you got to say about that, Joel? What do you got to say? When are you guys going to learn, man? <laughs> Get away and leave me alone. Tell your story, Walter. Don't you know that the one thing we do here at the Psycho Hunter's Garage, we only do things the right way. So take your little pissy camera. <laughs> Go find something else to do. Are we bothering the technicians? Guys, are, yeah, you're, 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 ignore, you're, you're, you're aggravating the technicians again. Is it, is it a Manly Stanley day? Tell your story, Walter. <laughs> when do I get my hair cut? That's what I want to know. I got, I, I'm not even going to say it. You're interrupting my quality products over here, you know. You see what I have to put up with? Really? What's the price of being famous? Is that what it is? Because I'm not famous.